a, in a guy's day and what he goes through. So yeah, that was in our, that was kind of in my head. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, I guess it, yeah, certainly. Wow. And I. Despite all the interviews that said I ripped off Herschel Gordon Lewis, I didn't know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea who he was till afterwards. Wow. How would you rip them off? I don't see why that was. Yeah. A, a I don't know. It, on the internet, a lot of people accuse this of being what, what the takeoff of Herschel Gordon Lewis. Um, Herschel Gordon yeah, Lewis, Door Door Girls, and yeah. Blood <laughs> Bees. <laughs> Two thousand maniacs, maybe. I think that was. We didn't even have that. We didn't yeah. have that. Blood Cult was the only shot on video that I had before we did this. Because that was another thing I know I was thinking about is like instead of having a crazy guy, we want to have a sane guy in a crazy town. Yeah. And um, apparently, uh, you know. Nothing's original, so. <laughs> <laughs> Although, we weren't really thinking of anybody, you know, weren't ripping anybody off particular. My question is, were you a fan of the genre? Or was this oh, uh, absolutely. Horror mm -hmm. movies fair. you got to know yeah. about, one of the reasons that we were able to do this so easily, was you got to know about Gary's uh, history. Um, he was in the fourth grade, no, not the fourth grade, but the seventh grade. We've known each other since we were in the seventh grade. And Gary has always been making movies. Well, Super 8. So, yeah. yeah, Super 8. We, we also used to, they used to be able to buy, they used to have these camera stores, and used to be able to buy these Super 8 movies of horror movies, cut down. 12-minute Bride of Frankenstein. And, and Gary, would put, Gary would put magnetic soundtracks. There was like a thing called Magnetic 8. And Gary would put magnetic soundtracks. And we were doing that. MS2K stuff. We were putting our own our own dialogue to, to these movies. So uh, you probably when, don't remember Million Dollar Movie, oh, yeah. but it was the same movie at seven thirty and nine thirty, seven days a week, yeah. and they were just the best. There was the yeah. the crawling eye. Crawling eye, yeah. Yeah. And I saw that. So it all came from that. By about the fifth night, my mother was ready to throw a, a can of soup at me. <laughs> um, every night, I would walk, you know. And so, um, so then when it came time to, when VHS came out and stuff, it was not a, it was not a big deal to Gary to go make a movie. I mean, it was something I knew he was going to, you know, he was going to do. And so, you know, he was really ahead of a lot of... The point, what all we said is we don't care what happens, we want to see our box in the video store. Yeah. I mean, that really was the only goal, to yeah. see the box in the video store. Did you have big? Dis did you have a lot of distribution? With it? Well, the first camp video. Apparently, it was two guys who it, camp video was a front for the mafia. From what we l later <laughs> we later learned, <laughs> and they had a great time. But they had no idea that the American Film Institute was going to nominate it. We, we were in some kind of award festival. We didn't win, but they had no idea what they had. This was to, you know, to launder money. Yeah, it was definitely like you read about like the 1950s in the record industry. There was definitely a couple of sets of books being kept because I actually had a job uh, working for a film distributor in New York City and they had a lot of porno movies and stuff, but they were distributing video violence and we were selling that movie like crazy. And then when we would report back to... Well, they had to send us reports, and, and they it, said none were selling. None were selling. <laughs> and I was going to Jersey City, and, all, and it was when they had all the mom and pop stores, and it was like neighborhoods that were very urban, um, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, and the, the posters were in the window. Yeah. There. They loved it. So we didn't was a bigger hit than they ever told us. But that's all right. That's not why we did it. Yeah. Now it's a bigger hit than we ever dreamed of. <laughs> yeah. I, I, the two things for me was one, I, 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 met, I saw it in Kim's video. In the village. They, in the village. That meant we made it. And the other one was I saw it as an illegal download. Yeah, if you could. <laughs> so right. I, it was a torrent. Thing. We knew we made it. Yeah. <laughs> Those of you who saw both movies separately, did you like it together? Or you like it separately better? Hmm. Both. It makes sense together. Yeah, it makes sense together. It yeah. moves quicker. Yeah, yeah. I, I was. I would have just cut out one more thing. Seeing it, I would not have put in the bit where the scrolling titles 
and she's in the shower. I cut that out in a minute. I didn't realize that it didn't fit on there. And yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Um, I hadn't seen part two actually, um, so I saw the you know, pieces tonight. But part one, the, the funny thing was, um, was as I was watching it, it felt quick to me. Right. I really, um, I thought this was great, but I enjoyed the. Um, I just, I don't know. I enjoyed it changed every the second. whole pace. I think. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed the original though too. Like every oh, second, of, like even okay. the dialogue at the dinner table. The uh, that's cut in half. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting, but you know, I, I, maybe I'm psychotic or something. But I no. don't know. <laughs> and just so, just for full disclosure, the pizza boy is quite often on CSI. Uh, he's, he's, he, and he's done some Broadway shows. Um, the girl in the very beginning who gets killed in the dressing room start on Broadway. Uh, not Footloose, what's the, um, it ran very, very quickly. Uh, Saturday Night Fever, she was uh, on Broadway. Um, and the girl who gets her boobies carved has become a rabbi. <laughs>